Well, it's been a full century since Madisonians have had to go beyond the city limits to enjoy a day at the zoo. And this weekend, there will be an elegant gala to culminate the Henry Vila Zoo's 100th anniversary celebration. Here to tell us all about it is Anna Reynolds and Rhonda Schwetz from the zoo. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Let's start with you, Anna. Tell us about what's going on this weekend. Yeah, well, we have our first annual Zoo Century Gala. Anna's taking place at Electronic Theater Controls in Middleton, Wisconsin. So um, it's not at the zoo? It's not at the zoo. Okay. It's at ETC. It's from 7 to 11. Um, we're going to have great entertainment. A dueling pianos act will be there. We'll have silent auction items. We'll also have some great hors d'oeuvres from Johnny Delmonico's and a photo booth. So it's going to be a really fun time. And it says a 1920s theme? There is a 1920s theme, so you can definitely wear 1920s attire. <laughs> but I know some people are a little scared off by that, so you, you can also just get dressed up. Well, I mean, people have never been out there. They sort of have a street scene out there, and it, yeah. it is sort of like a 1920s sort of atmosphere. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a movie set when you walk in the door there. <laughs> and where does the money go from the weekend's events? Yep, all net proceeds will go towards the Arctic Passage exhibit. And that's being built now? It is not being built yet. We're actually still in the process. That Rhonda actually spoke today with the architect mm -hmm. on the design, and then we're hoping to break ground in 2012. Let's talk about a new uh, resident you have at That's the zoo, right. Ryan. A newborn? A newborn? Well, pretty close to newborn. It's actually twins. We oh. have a uh, six week old Jeffrey's Marmosets, and that's a little monkey. It's about this big. And uh, you, I don't know if you guys see the a, picture. I think a picture. There we go. Yeah. I, I, how cute is that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's one of the twins. And um, I actually have to shout out to our keeper, Laura Rice, uh, Reese, who took that picture. She just managed to catch that. And they've just started moving off their parents. They're in the aviary. So you can see them kind of crawling around, eating, kind of stealing food from mom and dad <laughs> right now. And it's been a lot of fun for us. And it's a part of a breeding program that they're in called the Species Survival Plan. And so this is a very important birth yeah. for us at the zoo and for conservation. I was going to ask, how rare is that? Very rare. They are actually not, they're um, only about, there's less than 50 in zoos right uh, now in the United States. So it's pretty impressive. So they're on display. We're excited, yeah. And, and, and how important, why is this zoo so important to the community? Well, it's really so important because we have been along, around for 100 years. It's a community asset where people can go um, for free any day of the year. And so we're really, on Saturday, we're celebrating not only the history of the zoo, but also the community that supported it for 100 years. Yeah, and it's free. It's amazing. It's free. All these times. All yeah. right. We'll get out on Saturday and support the zoo and have a great time at the same time. Thanks for being with us today. Thank Remind you, you folks you. again, it's the Zoo Century Gala, the Electronic Theater's Control in Middleton, Saturday from 7 to 11. Tickets are $100, but money goes to a great cause. And we'll be back with a final check of your forecast after this.